I'm Sohail Mirza. I'm Chair of Orthopedics at um, Dartmouth School of Medicine and um, Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center. At Dartmouth, our emphasis has been on improving the health of the population and helping patients choose wisely, uh, what we call shared decision making and informed choice. So we're trying to find ways to help patients understand their options very clearly and then engage with their physicians to make good choices that are right for them and appropriate for their preferences and values. My biggest challenge um, in changing orthopedics in our department has been really just culture and uh, people. It is very difficult for physicians, surgeons particularly, I think, to agree on uh, a method of care that is maybe uh, the best science, what is the standard better method of care, and when there isn't any clear evidence uh, to agree to do it in a similar way. That's been our biggest difficulty, is to get the team involved um, in a process where they feel like um, they're delivering the best care, even though they may have personal biases that don't quite agree with it. Uh, the other part has been to actually distribute the work in a way so that um, everybody is working at what they're trained to be um, doing. Uh, working at the maximum level of their potential in training and distributing work but then pulling it all back together so that from a patient's perspective it's a seamless experience so that if they see a nurse or a physician assistant and a surgeon they see that as their care team and not as a choppy um, disconnected experience. At Dartmouth we're um, leveraging technology to help coordinate the process of care between different team members and for a patient to get more involved, to enhance their experience uh, in terms of their visit with the surgeon or their experience through surgery and recovery. So we're, we couldn't do team-based care where several people are involved in a patient's clinic visit or outpatient visit or even surgery. Uh, without an electronic medical record that gathers information in real time and allows the very next person to see what was done the minute before or the hour before. Uh, in the same way, we hope predictive analytics, things that allow us to give guidance to patients and their surgeons in terms of personalized risks, not just the average patient's experience or potential outcome, but actually this individual patient at hand given their age and their medical history and their functional status, what is their likelihood of a good outcome with surgery, with delaying surgery, and optimizing some things to make their results better. So that's one way, is to just engage patients, help them make better choices, help them make more informed decisions, and for clinicians to be able to look at their population of patients and identify things ahead of time while there's still room to intervene and improve the patient's outcome. Um, I can tell you a little bit more about a different level of technology we're using. We just created a center for surgical innovation and in this facility we're leveraging um, three-dimensional imaging, advanced imaging through MRI and CT to help surgeons do surgery more safely and less invasively. So in terms of resecting something like a brain tumor or a spinal tumor, we would like to provide surgeons tools like navigation, like in, in a sense roadmaps for surgery that help guide each step of the operation and in certain very delicate procedures where there is need for extreme precision like putting screws in the upper part of the neck um, we actually would like to avoid the hand-eye coordination and errors from um, manual control to actually use the imaging to drive our tools and um, deliver implants and biopsies and other things in a very precise way. So we're both trying to deliver what already is known to be good science in a better way, implement that uh, using technology, and also use technology to improve the actual process of care, the actual surgical technique. So we hope both of these things combined will open up new opportunities for patients in terms of having better outcomes and safer care.